Of the 574 federally recognized Indian tribes in America, the Navajo are the most populous and have the biggest reservation. In fact, the Navajo Nation comprises over 17 million acres, larger than the state of West Virginia. The reservation stretches from the Grand Canyon in Arizona, north to the shores of Lake Powell in Utah, east to the deserts of New Mexico, and south to the busy freeway called Interstate 40. In terms of total tribal enrollment, which includes members on and off the reservation, the Navajo population is roughly 400,000. Now, here are some scenes from the Navajo Nation on a bright and blue February morning in 2023. Follow along as I travel from Flagstaff, Arizona to the Four Corners. Yeah, we got a spring water pond. Garden's back where I live, so back in the distance, about two miles. They uh, pulled out three skeletons here. So they call this one the Dilophosaurus. The one you see in a Jurassic Park, we kind of made a little picture on that uh, sign there, so. That was super cool. I don't know if I've seen dinosaur tracks before. A bunch of them. Just right in the rocks here. Just west of Tuba City on the Navajo Nation in northern Arizona. I believe this is called the Church Rock Valley. A lot of the spires here look volcanic in origin. That broad, flat area, the elevated area over there is called the Black Mesa. Out here on the Navajo Nation in Northern Arizona. Now this is really very cool right here. These are sandstone hoodoos, just a rock formation caused by erosion. And you can see them in formation here in the wall. This is the exact same type of feature um, that you could see at Bryce Canyon National Park in Utah. But here it's just along the roadside. There's some residences over there. That little octagon home looking thing is called a Hogan. The Hogan is just the traditional Navajo dwelling. Navajo call themselves Diné, just means the people but Navajo is the name that stuck. I think it means something bad, I'm sure. Just like Sioux probably means snake or enemy or something of that nature. Pretty typical, but I think the Spanish adopted that name first. So anyways, we'll get back on the road. Nice little stop here. By the way, this area is called the Baby Rocks. It's 
quite a bit of broken glass in there. But uh, there's a sign for it on the roadside and there's a place to pull over. New Mexico, Colorado, Utah, Arizona. All right, well, that was the Four Corners Monument. You have to pay $8 to get into here, but I'd say it's worth it one time, you know, in your lifetime. I think I'm walking in Arizona right now. But Utah's right over there. Colorado's over there. And then New Mexico's over there. Yeah. At least I've, I'm able to say I've been in four states at one time now. Some cool trails around here, though. Some bad lands, nice colors. Take a little walk. This looks like a fun little trail. So right now I'm in Utah. But just over there is Arizona. And after I finish up here, I'm going to continue on into Colorado. And I'll stop in Durango never been to that corner of Colorado. I'm not very familiar with it. The southwestern corner of Colorado, San Juan Mountains. Durango seems like a nice little mountain town, and the weather's very nice today. It's very warm down here, and it'll still be relatively warm around Durango, probably in the 40s, so very nice. Here's a cool little sign. Colorado, Utah, Arizona, and New Mexico. Trail continues. 
be a nice little loop to take, but it got really muddy down there. So I'm just gonna head back the way I came and say goodbye to the four corners. Fun place for a little run, if you're into that. Thank you.